let us look at another great son of india another great leader of india the next e we know this man again we are talking of cricket we are a superpower aaj hum us waqt us din pe jaate hain when the seed revolution evolution of cricket selab cricket ka utha desh mein anybody sir absolutely right cricket moved from the big cities to the up country towns and that heralded the revolution of cricket in india 25th of june 1983 when india humbled the mighty west indies but even before that is over here turning point turn bridge wells and is this man another great son of india great captain or great leader of india yes kapil dev nikhanj born on the 6th of january 1959 he was made the captain 24 years and 6 months he writes in his autobiography and the autobiography is what straight from the heart isme kya likhte hain he says i was made the captain only three people in the team were junior to me everybody else was senior and he says there were three ex captains in the team to take instructions from me was a problem mere se instructions lena nahi chahte it was an issue because i was almost the junior most and he says nobody listened to me and he says we played bad cricket and once we were playing against the minos zimbabwe they had just got test status and he says we were reduced to 17 for 5 i looked around and people laughed i said let us do something serious and he says people laughed and he said then i said i will not do the talking my bat will do the talking and out he walked and it was raining fours and sixes 16 fours and six sixes 138 balls and the score was 175 not out single handedly the match was won by this great son of india and he says after that that day when i came to the dressing room no questions asked my word became the law in the dressing room semi finals we beat a very strong english team and in the finals we humbled the great mighty west indies clive lloyds west indies which takes a claim for being the greatest in the history of cricket and again we are talking of another e which e is this friends the third e this e is edge cutting edge what does cutting edge mean cutting edge is skill level skill level of the leader should be one level ahead of his team members a leader has got to be accepted if we lead a team i should be able to set an example for my team members we cannot be non playing captains i must be an expert i must be a master people should look at me and say can i become like my leader can i copy him can i imitate him can i emulate him can i replicate him can i duplicate him can i become like him so self upgradation training that is our responsibility the bind of the leader also sets in otherwise the leader is not accepted mentally he is not accepted edge also means imparting the cutting edge to the team members training them and making them better if the training levels or skill levels are great again the team becomes unstoppable unmatchable great son of india 